Uh, oh. C can I trade a hat for a gun? No, Joe. Come on, I have, no, I have so many tickets. No, I here. got, this is so awkward. I, I gotta go to the White Come House. Come on! No, I gotta go, yes. Dang it! Welcome to our Division 2 review. I'm going to do a sit-down review with uh, Dell and other Joe, who we played through the, the whole with game the with. Angry Army Clan. Yeah, we did, we did make a little Angry Army Clan, uh, okay. which I actually appreciate that there is a clan in there. It's up to 50 members, uh, so thank you for the division on that. That's a positive thing. <laughs> Come on, we need you. <laughs> Look for a few Look good men. <laughs> This is a better clan. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, the Division 2. Obviously, I made a Division 1 review, and I was really harsh to the game. I think I ended up giving it a 5 out of 10. I really pointed out a lot of its deficiencies and, and areas that it needed improvements. Uh, and so let's just go directly from that uh, division to this division. And did they make uh, improvements in the right areas? <laughs> It's a motherfucking scrub daddy from last time. Hey, asshole, take this. Ah! You're gonna fucking die this time. Ah! I don't think we're doing anything. Keep firing, go. I don't want to let you be. Holy shit. Did you see that, Joe? Whoa. Luffy's armor flew off. But keep firing. Keep firing. Ah! Hit the weak spot. Go for the weak spot, Joe. Killed you! Oh, no, Revenge! Yes! Three fucking years and we finally Dang. killed that bully sponge. You know what, Joe? They actually improved Whoa. that shit. The game has improved. That felt good. Hell yeah. I mean, the blood looks stupid as hell, but. Yeah. I mean, a little, little like, fucking Kool Aid coming out of him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We fucking did it. Guys, sponge, good. Fuck you. Yeah, it felt so good. They made improvements in some areas and not really any improvements in others. Uh, I looked at some of the things I complained about in the original division. The character creator, why are we creating characters? It was really bad. It was like six faces. This character creator is a little better. It's better, yeah. And look at this. This is that's the options. My my guy. They, there's like six fucking options, seven options. Yeah. Uh, gear pieces. They do show up on your character, so it's like, oh, so you got this little thing, and you get constantly get cool stuff, different looking gloves, different looking gear. You got that in the last one, but sometimes it was a lot of a lot of generic stuff. Yeah. This one, I think the gear gear is great. Looks more unique. You can make your guy look cool. It just pretty much. Joe kind of looks like Joe. Yeah, you know, <laughs> straight. Look at that. I look Steve's amazing. Way too much. <laughs> I partly don't blame the. It looks like other Joe. Like I also said all the enemies fight pretty much the same all the different factions in the last game fought pretty much the same this one they do slight variations yeah. they still fight kind of relatively the same but to give them credit they they use viruses on you this time they uh they charge you they've got sledgehammers they've got armor um and but they're doing about the most they can do there's robots yep. they're doing about the most they can do within the tom clancy sort of restriction and license uh, let him let him sledgehammer oj Run, OJ, he's got a sledgehammer. I don't want to do that. It's mean, man. You just have to outrun the slowest person. <laughs> help me. Help me, please. Afro man, Get him up. Me. Get him up. I'll save him. No. No. <laughs> yeah, no, he's really easy to avoid. You just have to run away. It's his one oh, I got weakness. shot with his friends coming in. Yeah. Uh, so when you, when you roll in this game, it, I got it counts as an invincibility frame. Because Tom Clancy is known for these amazing stories and, and yep. things like that. And once again here, they do not utilize that. The story is what story? Pretty much, yeah. I it's non-existent. Let, let me summarize the story for you guys. Hey, I need a favor from you. I hate to ask, but can I ask you? Are <laughs> you going to ask anyway? Yeah. You know you've done something unthinkable. 
You've given us hope. You've done so much for us already. But maybe with your help, we can convince them to come back. Give the settlement another chance. I hate to ask more of you when you've already done so much. Well, then don't. But Then don't. That's what I said, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> then don't ask me. Yeah, right? Can you do a favor for me? Yeah. It's just go a, kill series, these guys. a series of favors. All it's right. not really compelling. You're just like, all right, let's all right. just go do this. What now? Let's do that. And it's just like a cutscene, and it, they don't really establish the characters, wow, uh, you know, personalities. No. This game has zero personalities in it. Yep. You, we, you will remember none of the characters. None of them are memorable amongst these different eight people that you can unlock and meet and stuff. None of them are memorable. And that is an issue, again, here in Tom Clancy's Division. You, you never see the real effects of the virus. You never see people, like, succumb to the virus, have the virus. Uh, you know, hordes of people, you know, having to heal them and do this. And, again, and all you see is body bags. Again, yeah, it's the same show here. Bags. You do see them. <laughs> you see body bags. Yep. Uh, you know, you do a little bit more missions pertaining to the virus. Oh, they want to infect people with the virus, and now they're throwing the virus at you. But that's not what I meant. I meant, like, giving context to the to the thing and oh uh there is one mission where like bad guys you know use some motors on a on a civilian and then you go there and like kelso is so fucking pissed off she's like kill them all the attack came from jefferson plaza you know what to do you know what to do hey kill them all kill them all you know, and yeah. you're like, and and then you're like, okay, so so that is the that is the most emotion that is ever in this game, yep. and it was really weak too, because the whole time you're thinking, well, if they had mortars, why didn't they just fire at the White House yeah, they where have you're like at? Multiple miles. Do you realize range, how like, far motors go? Instead, you're you're motoring just these useless civilians that have nothing to do don't with tell anything. Them. They don't know. I know their tactics know. are fucking <laughs> terrible. But anyway, but so. it, I mean, everyone's already dead when you get there. And like, yeah. I wanted to in the first game, we were like, let's go to like a FEMA camp or something mm -hmm. where there's there's thousands of sick people dying, and then mm -hmm. it becomes urgent. Like, you need to go get this thing right now, or these people are dead. And you're like. Shit, but that never right. happens. Yeah, it never no shakes sense. you. It yep. never really uh, pulls emotion from you. And that could have been the evolution of the division. Tom Clancy does a lot of shit with other countries and political espionage. And, yeah. Like, I was and hoping stuff. to see some and other countries. They set that up in the first game mm -hmm. with, with the Russian embassy. You're like, oh, shit, were the Russians involved? Are the That would be so fucking cool. Are the Russians cool. going to invade the United States? I know. But they just completely pull back from all of it. You'll yeah, never I, know now. <laughs> And and I want I, and I feel like you know some people have said that also like oh it's annoying they don't really put in like they shy away from controversial things oh, is yeah, kind definitely. of what I'm thinking you know I don't necessarily need real world politics I, I don't need the president to have been Donald Trump and then he died and then never this stuff. I don't need all that shit but what I do need is some of that controversial stuff in here yeah. that you're clearly avoiding on purpose not to you know, upset anybody, whether it's, you know, Russia invading, China invading or, or something. You don't want to piss off those people or we are literally engaging in a civil war. Yep. Americans killing Americans. And it's never really talked about or mentioned or. or uh, so hit escape. Click progression. Okay. Click the DC in the upper right. And then go to found footage, and then there's the video. It's buried in four menus, sub-menus. Yeah. Hyenas, uh, video recording of a group of hyenas murdering civilians. It's there! It's there, but, but it's, it's just not, buried, it's, it's buried, and you have to, like, find it and yeah. watch it on your own fucking time, and there's, like, barely any of it. Because I, I have no idea. Like that's what we were saying. I didn't even. <laughs> I didn't even. I didn't know any of this existed until 55 hours into the game. Right. And if that guy's name was like Dylan, and, and you talked to him from time to time, you're like, Dylan, Dylan, get your head down, goddammit! Oh no, Dylan! <laughs> Fuck! 
And then... I found it by accidentally hitting my E key on the menu. Yeah, Jeez. like Shindo just randomly told me. We were like 55 hours in. He's like, did you see these videos? I was like, what videos? He said, like, I found videos buried in like five menus. So I was like, fucking what? And then I watched them and I was like, holy shit, why wasn't this in the game? I mean, like, in the main story. I was like, this never shows while you're playing. And so you're like, who the fuck are these people? Why are we doing this? Why are they evil? Who the fuck is this guy? It's just, they they just kind of are like, go help settlements. That's the story. Yeah. It's about these And it's like, people. yeah, let's reestablish the government in America. <laughs> but then but then there's a much more fascinating story that, yeah. like, do we actually need that that old government? And then there are certain factions like, fuck the government and stuff. Yeah. And, the, and you know, the, the, it led to this kind of stuff in the first place. And, and you could have played off that a lot more. And oh, yeah. they avoid a lot of it. And so I think that's what people say when there, there needed to be more boundary pushing. There needed to be something in order to push the story forward or in order to push the interesting situations yep. or scenarios in a sequel you expect them to up the ante they do not up the ante here and in many ways the ante is walking backwards it feels almost yep. pedestrian hey we're just cleaning up the white house and the area around it that, i mean that's what you're doing Force one. That's actually the better way to put it is there's a lot here to do, just none of it has substance like we said yesterday. It's just, it's just stuff to do. You can do it and do it and do it. There is a ton of content. I'll say that. And so in the yep. original, when you go out on these missions, they're the same. You're doing the same thing over and over. It looks the fucking same. But in Tom, in Tom Clancy's The Division 2, they started to vary up the level design. Yeah, I really do like the level design it's a good here. Step. See, this is a cool environment. Okay, the, the levels definitely better, cooler. What was one of my main criticisms from the division is that every level looked the same, every single one. This one, it's still a little bit like that, but then there's a, every once in a while you'll get something cool like this. There's, you know, there's some really cool missions. You've got uh, this hacker type mission that like, you know, freezes you and he taunts you yep. in front. Uh, there's fucking Steve. Steve was the best boss in the entire game visually. I fucking yeah. love need, Steve. Steve was a Steve's. badass. We need more Steves in the game, guys. Like the lights go off, he comes out. It's this big presentation. I'm like, yep. yes, they're getting it. Shh, quiet. Steve's coming. Shh. Surprise! Happy S birthday! <laughs> See, this Holy is oh, shit, he's behind me. This is the so kind of stuff I'm in. hoping for for the division. Yo, it's yo, let Steve. Me use your hiding spot. Where is Steve? There he is. And Sur he just shoots grenades and fire grenades. They're all fire grenades Surgeon too. Steve, where'd he go, Joe? He's still up top. We'll kill the little guys. You guys kill Steve. Okay. okay. Yeah, we're working uh, on it. They a lot of... Oh, I'm on fire! Steve shot! Holy shit! Holy shit. <laughs> he lit you up. Bro, you had... Sorry, what's what that? What am I supposed to kill? do? Eat Use grenades? a fire... Yo, get out of there! Use a fire extinguisher. Ah, Steve is burning out. my boss! <laughs> Put me out. Someone give me a fire extinguisher. Oh, shit. Fuck him up! Yeah, yeah Steve. we did it. But there's not a whole lot of that in the game. There's small peaks here and there, and it's like whoever is developing these levels, give them a raise because this is the kind of stuff we want. And some of the levels look unique. You got these club cubes and shit. You, you go underground. Well, you go underground in the original. But you do a lot of different things and the environments. Uh, and so that's yet another thing that the Division 2 gets far better than the division one the environments they're beautiful this time around maybe because i've got a high powered pc with a graphics card i've got all they're, this shit on fantastic. ultra they are they have they have a huge object detail the detail, detail in the world is the overwhelmingly you've got crazy. fucking rats you've got fucking you know little raccoons, raccoons. <laughs> i've seen a raccoon scurry under a car and fit its body under a car because yep. it got scared at me just walking by look at that oh shit Holy, oh my god, they actually animated that. Oh, you were so lucky. I should blow that up. Oh, that's so cool.
There's burbs flying off, and you can shoot them. There's dogs. dogs and the, the world feels more alive. There's patrols going on, and and the environments are great. The lighting is fantastic in the yep. game. There are certain segments where you're like, whoa, this is atmospheric. And to say that for the division is weird because division was always, to me, the original was very just stiff, stoic, very like rigid. Yeah. Rigid. But there's some atmosphere here because they've added improvements to the graphics, to the environment. They even have a, like a day-night cycle. There's weather that goes on sometimes, fog, rain. See, all that shit is really, really good because I love all the realistic guns. Yes. Okay. Yep. So oh. that's another thing that Tom Clancy's The Division 2 gets right over its predecessor and not only over its predecessor but over its right. competitor looter shooters. Okay. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 is such a welcome, entertaining breath of fresh air when you're getting so much loot. They get the loot right in this game. You get loot for your gun, your secondary, your 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 sidearm, your fucking mods, your fucking skills. You get mods for knee pads, masks, <laughs> backpacks, vests. Loot for just, everything. It's just so good. And fucking, there's, you there's can customize your shoes. It. You can do all these uh, things drop in the world where you can customize your character. Not not as much as I was hoping, but, but there's still customization there. More than Anthem. By a lot. By a lot. By They're a not lot. even in the same no. fucking league. It's like Bioware needed to take notes, you know, from from the division here. And yes, there are microtransactions in the game. You, there's a whole store where if yep. you want to look like a firefighter or a, uh, you know, police a police officer. Yeah, you could do that. But I see, that like doesn't bother cowboy. me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, so, well, that's what cowboy. I was in the previous division. Yeah. Now, see, that doesn't bother me as much when the game is giving you such a plethora of loot. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, if you want to look like this, you can. You know, you it was totally non-invasive. Non-invasive. You don't feel like you ever need to buy anything, mm -hmm. but if you want to go extra, you can. So that didn't bother me. What they did to the you, castle. you have no, no magazine. I don't need one. It just looks cool. People run off because they're scared. <laughs> you have no magazine, Joe. How do you expect to kill anybody? It's a scare <laughs> tactic, damn don't. it. <laughs> I don't know why it's not loading in. <laughs> what the fuck, Look, Joe? <laughs> it works. See? Those are imaginary bullets. <laughs> Look, did it load now? No, it disappeared what? when you put it up in there. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. <laughs> are you just going pew, 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 pew? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think the what we got in the sequel here is an evolution of the technology, uh, the graphics, yep. and uh, half of the balancing. Because the balancing is another thing. And I think a lot of people are getting to Endgame and they're touching it a little bit and saying, yeah, this is great. There's tons of Endgame. Yep. But they're not really analyzing. The Endgame in this game is broken. It's, broken. it's been broken for several days, several weeks now. The game has been out for, for a, a while. It's been and the Endgame yeah. is still broken. The PvP in the Dark Zones is also broken. You die on one hit. <laughs> Oh, these are clans. These are clans. These are our clans. Clans. Wait, no, they're not. Yeah, they are. These are clan guys. These are clan guys. Contaminated gear detected. It's on now, fucking homos. Okay. Wow, they call us homos. Should they we take their clan. gear or should yeah, we take, leave it? Take their shit. No, they don't want to fight that way. Dude, you can take what's in my backpack, loser. I don't care. <laughs> There is no viable builds. There is one viable build right Stacking now. Stacking red stats. That's, That's it. all you do. You You're stack red stats. Everybody's a glass cannon running around. One is on the left. Well, one shot that guy out of his fucking mind. Nah, I'm staying middle. Like a man. Out of his fucking mind. No one's sniping. Oh, one's on the floor. <laughs> the from the side. They can't do anything, dude. Put them on the body. Oh, again! This is <laughs> unlucky, so mate. All the sniper shots. You just <laughs> need to aim. Like, yeah, Marco says, you did that recoil skill. Yeah, Marco, do that shit. Gun. Oh, you one shot, eh? I'm safe, though. I'm safe, man. Just kill them, kill them, kill them. Thank you. Just man. do that! What is this? There's no tech. The tech score is completely fucked. It's yeah, broken. Tech power doesn't scale abilities right now. At this current review, yeah. uh, where are we? What what day is it? 21st. Mark I think yeah. it's 21st. Dude, skill power does not scale. Tech power, skill power, whatever you want to call it, doesn't scale right now. Look, and I can prove it really easy. It's busted.
They look at this build, have almost no tech power, skill power. 70,746 damage on the Firestarter Chem Launcher, which is probably the best one. If I swap over to my skill power build, which is even called skill, and I close my loadout, and I check the Firestarter damage, 70,746. And I have almost 8,000 skill power versus my... 1500 skill power the damage doesn't change and we'll double check again just to be sure it's not a bug 70,746 doesn't scale damage it just doesn't work right now and there are several things like that that's not working for example the the black tusk uh, they're not populating in the Black Tusk areas and the control points and the yep. way they're supposed to retake areas is broken right now and it's been broken for at least three days. They used to be all over the map and mine bugged out around World Tier 2 or 3. They just kind of stopped showing up after you redid the missions where they showed up for that one-time do-over, do the game thing and they're just not here anymore. I'll get messages from Manny Ortega every now and then saying, hey, they've retaken the Hyena Stronghold. And we go over there and they're just not there. It's just hyenas. I'll get messages about every stronghold saying, hey, the Black Tusks have taken back over. And I'll go over there and they just don't show up there. And they're not at control points. I don't see patrols around the city anymore. They're just they're just gone. I would some. even say, like, for this, the best way to summer it is the PvE content's a lot better. But they screwed their end game worse than the first game as far as gear and balancing and, and stuff goes. Like, the gear in this game just doesn't work. A lot of it just doesn't work. And the PvP is far worse. So, you know, if for me, in the end of the first game, my idea was, well, there's not a lot of PvE for me to do. I'm going to go PvP, and I got a week of PvP out of it. Yeah. But in this, I'm just – I'm done with the PvP. And already. I know people just don't believe. You know, when they hear that, that the gear doesn't work, they don't believe. We have to give you a specific example. Here's a specific example. So you see how fast I just fucking – how much damage I do? Hundreds of thousands of damage. Just this thing – this is a boss. dies instantly. And if I switch over to, you know – my tech build, which is really easy to do, say I want to go skill build, and I go to my skill build, and I start shooting shit. You can definitely see a difference! Oh yeah, by the way, I'm stacking tech power. Let's shoot this thing. Oh, I missed. Wow, it barely does anything! So I don't, I don't know what they want from me. It's just stack red stats and win the game. Yeah, there's so there's a lot of bugs. Now, uh, there, I ran into fewer, uh, like really annoying bugs and fewer crashes than the original games help me stop right there you fucking apparitions so yep. they, don't get me wrong the division two is much more stable than the division one i went back and watched my review of the division one like the whole world the world was, was more you can still stuff. fall through the world in yep. this one but i never did uh, i i did have some crashes i did have some i went looking for the wee man i could never really recreate the wee man except for a couple times do you see him human remains you know, detected okay? no we... division agents <laughs> Oh, I found Wee Man, Joe. I have bad news. <laughs> I have bad news about Wee Man over here. He's right here. No, he's right here. Oh, <laughs> I've no. got bad news. Wee Man, what'd you do? He did have a ton of people going T pose, though. We did have some T poses. <laughs> Lots like of T poses. I mean, this, this mission bugs a lot because all of these guys that you killed are in T poses. <laughs> and they're like all flying. You see this shit on my screen? Look at this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Record. <laughs> make sure you get no, plenty of that. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. They're just like hovering in the air like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Some missions were more wonky and broken than others. It kind of felt like they were like a little unfinished. Things would take a while to actually register, and sometimes they yeah, wouldn't register. Yeah, I kept running into that bug because like I would go in and start firing. It wouldn't register the hits, yeah. but then it would like I guess refresh, and everybody would be dead, oh, and yeah. my whole squad's gone. I'm like, <laughs> where did everybody go? Well, it because be Joe, because times. it's because when I was looking at you, you were like in slow motion but and you I were frozen. I was moving. I was like, yeah. everybody's moving, but I didn't see anybody. Right on your screen, but in our screen, we're looking at Joe like <laughs> Joe. He's running Baywatch what mode. Fuck are you <laughs> Activated. Until way later. What are you doing? Even, man? even with four normal people. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> oh no, Joe, you're kicking up a lot of dust, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's your new it's workout the... program. In your group. Oh god damn it! You might have to re <laughs> hey, you're doing just fine going backwards. Hey, just gonna run back. <laughs> Careful oh, with that no. fence. That fence is dangerous. <laughs> Ah, oh, I'm infected. I'm infected. Get away from the fence. Get Shoot away it. From it. 
Shoot it. I can't. We can't pull our weapons out. <laughs> so, yeah, there were some connectivity Close issues like that that I didn't really Close experience in the first game. So, I like I said, the there's lots of improvements, <laughs> but there's some things that, that new problems and confusion Bye. and design Bye. decisions that weren't Bye. taken care of and, and definitely I'll things that were left, here, okay. um, you know, untouched that we were hoping that would be a more of an evolution into the sequel rather yeah. than just um, a slightly improved you know version of the original division a lot of the tactics in the game is just looking for doors because you know that's where the enemies are going to spawn and this way you can make sure that they don't spawn behind you or on top of you. <laughs> i just fucking murdered them <laughs> to come out of the door <laughs> oh, they couldn't do it. They were all coming out of the same door. That's their problem, dude. <laughs> oh. I feel like The Division 2 is like The Division that they wanted to put out yep. initially. And don't get me wrong, this will get better in the future, but The Division 1 is fucking incredible right now. Um, just the way that the game's balanced and the number of game modes, they have like five extra game modes that allow you to just play no infinitely. Way. Like it's all no. randomized, it's fun as shit. There's like wave defense, like survival that gives you better Go rewards door. every time Wait you survive single. a wave. There's a randomized no. underground mode that completely randomly generates the level layout every time you do it. And it gives like Diablo modifiers, like enemies do double damage in darkness. You get electrocuted bullets, <laughs> like really, really cool shit. And all of that got ripped out for this one. And so I was just like, man, you had such cool shit in the last game. You needed to just copy it over. Destiny 2 did the same thing. They like pulled out everything that made the first game better that they fixed and started over again. It feels like they're just restarting it rather than evolving it. And that's that's really where the, the core problem I have comes with is it feels like a reboot rather than a sequel. It really does. It's like, yeah. hey, you know all that stuff that happened? Yeah. Yeah. We're, you, we went laterally here. Yep. Like, in the world, like, it's just lateral movement. It's like, okay, let's go over here now. This is a distress code. The coordinates for Washington, D.C. How is this possible? It's all over. You go! I'll do what I can here. Go! And you play the Division 2 with friends. I'm telling you, it's a much better experience, just as if yeah. as any game really is. But the Division in particular is kind of meant to be played with friends. The solo experience is not anywhere near as good. Um, it was clearly not designed for that. And the experience is way less enjoyable when you're by yourself. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, I agree. It's not quite as good. you got to do no. it with buddies, with friends, so that we played, we played the game again through... Um, and it's it's fun. And then finally, uh, the final boss. That was the final boss. That was much better than the helicopter. No, so everybody online, you gave everyone the first game so much shit. I gave yeah, so much. Everyone shit to the gave helicopter. so much shit that the final boss in the first game was a helicopter. In fact, the most inventive boss here is a helicopter. Um, we have to shoot down a helicopter. But it was a helicopter, and it wasn't just a guy, <laughs> and it flew around, and you had to hide, and it had mechanics. It shot at you. Mm -hmm. But, like, in the final boss in this game, the final <laughs> boss of the whole game is some guy. He comes down from a helicopter. He shoots at you. You kill him. That's it. He's just some generic I dude. And that's the end of the game. There's nothing here that is super interesting in, in, in the final boss battle. And so I was hoping that they'd make their boss battles a little more interesting. And they do. Steve is a prime example. He's the only one. Uh, when you go into the strongholds, you're facing multiple little mid tier bosses on vehicles and things like that, and it's better. But again, the Division 2 has a little bit of a problem with that final boss. And I guess they try to make up for it with, oh, no, the Black Tusks. That's, that's the real stuff. There's a bunch of them, yeah. and they're doing this and that. But, but once you wipe them out right now, Black Tusk hasn't come back. And I think it's a bug, uh, and hopefully it'll be fixed soon. He's trying to kill a, a res ball. Let's look, look at him. The res ball's dead. Stop shooting him. Stop. <laughs> look at you can do it, buddy. Look, I believe in you, man. I really believe in you. I honestly, you're just doing great. You're just really help. This is uh, this He's is gonna good. get it next time. He's gonna get it next time. He's gonna get it. 
Just kill everyone else and just let him, you know. He's really... I believe in him. All right, look. Uh, do I think the Division 2 is better than the original? Yes. Definitely. Do I think it's definitely better than Anthem? Fuck yeah. Um, so the final verdict, after hearing the arguments, I can totally see you giving the game a 7. I can agree with Joe. Uh, some people enjoy that grind and don't mind it, and there's tons of good loot. There are many improvements in the game. The level design, some of the bosses have been improved. You're seeing signs of life, and you're seeing uh, some really great improvements. Uh, but Dell also has a point as well. You want a complete product. Everybody is just saying this is a great complete product with no issues, no broken elements. You're wrong because you really probably just played all through at the front and did not get to the end game it did not get to yeah, the pvp and did not fully flesh out those particular areas because that is a part of the full package yep. and if you reviewing the full package there are balancing issues they have work to do they have work to do there and they have work to do in pvp and to make this a complete package in fact i think they are even they even delayed the raid a little bit because they're probably working on some of this other stuff so and god darn it if there's a division three for the love of God, <laughs> drop Tom Clancy or go crazy with the universe and show us something that we've never what seen I mean, before. Like the use the virus. Use aliens. something. No, not aliens. aliens. <laughs> I wish the Division 2 had something else. Mutants, zombies, something else to make this shit exciting. The license is holding it back. Well, what do you recommend? I've got the perfect thing. They should do a mod, Joe. Right? Check this out. Where are you going? Holy crud! There's a sitting duck out there. Does he know what he's doing? Tell me that's not a good fucking idea and that this game wouldn't be really cool if they had one little level as Judge Dredd. Look at this shit. They did it for Wildlands. They did it for Tom Clancy. Ubisoft has done this before with Predator in Tom Clancy's The Wildlands. I would love to see some kind of expansion pack or, or themed mod like they did there. It would be so cool in the division to spice it up, give a little variety to the enemies. Dredd. Charge! The evidence has been falsified. It's impossible. I never broke the law. I am the law. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next Angry Joe Show.